everyone, this is just a real quick video to show you my kiln firing schedule. I know a lot of people have this exact Scott 1027 kiln, so I thought it would be nice if you saw me actually entering in my exact kiln schedule so that you can get a feel for what that drop hold schedule looks like on this kiln. So this is pretty much the Camille Hoffman firing schedule, but you know, it took me a few tries to kind of figure out how that translated to my kiln. So I'm gonna go through it with you. So the first thing I'm doing is a ramp hold. So these aren't the automatic settings. What I'm doing here is my own settings. Ramp hold user, and this is five. My kiln, since it's older, only has the ability to have 10 different programs that it keeps in its computer system. So my user five is my program for my glaze firing, and I've been using this one for a while, so. So I'm going to have four different segments of information that I am punching in. So four is correct, I hit enter. My first ramp is at 150 degrees per hour. So I'm gonna go at that rate until it reaches a temperature of 200 degrees. At 200 degrees, I'm gonna put a hold in and that's a hold for 30 minutes. Um, that's because I'm often loading wet glazed items into the kiln and they need a little bit of time to get that off of them. Ramp two, 450. Um, that's about the max that my kiln can go. Um, I could reprogram this. You'll see there's an extra step in here that isn't really needed, but okay. Oh, maybe I reprogrammed it already. Okay, so it's going 450 degrees an hour till 2050. So as my kiln ages and the elements get older, it takes more hours to reach these top temperatures. And so I will adjust my kiln schedule to go to a lower top temperature because of that, because it gets so much heat work done when your elements are old. So right now my elements are new. So sort of keep that in mind with the schedule. So my third ramp is at 150 degrees. So basically when I get to that 2000 mark, I'm slowing it back down so that the amount of heat work to reach the proper top cone temperature gets done. So I go 150 degrees to 2218, which is my top, top number right now. So before I change my elements, this was a lot lower because my kiln was really struggling to make it to that top temperature. And so a lot more heat work was happening because of that struggle. Um, you know, at that point, when my elements are getting worn, this particular program will go up to 10 or 11 hours to complete. Right now, when the kiln elements are in good shape, it's taking about eight hours to complete. Okay, so 2218, yes. I am doing a hold at the top temperature right now because it's getting hot so fast. So I'm doing an eight minute hold that's getting me closer to a true cone six. And ramp four. Now this took me a little bit to understand how to just basically let it free fall drop, cool as fast as it can. So when it gets here, it's going to drop as fast as it can down to 2120 and that is about a hundred degrees less. So it's a, it's a drop hold. So it's dropping as fast as it can to 2120. And then at 2120, I'm letting it hold for 30 minutes. And then I don't hit an alarm. Hit that. And then I'm going to hit start. And that's about it. So that's my kiln schedule. I hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching.